Hi, I'm Neil Moody, and in 2017 I made a tiny game about the Kregalian fire for a game jam called Flat Jam. So I'm going to run the game in the background and I'm just going to talk over it and explain a bit about where the game came from and why I wanted to make a, a game about the Kregalian fire. So I should maybe provide a bit of context first if you're not familiar with a kind of game development culture. So a game jam is basically an opportunity for game developers to come together and make some games together in quite a short period of time and usually for the joy of making something collectively. Video game development often can be quite commercialised and focused on making something that's going to sell and that obviously like limits the kind of things you can do and also like video games often take a lot of time to make if you want to make something that is going to sell. So we often run game jams to kind of remind ourselves of just like the joy of making something, like why we want to make games in the first place. So Flat Jam was a game jam specifically targeted at making flat games, which is a very specific kind of video game. It is a genre effectively coined by the Irish developer Laura McGee, who runs the studio Dreamfield. And essentially a flat game is a game that's meant to be very simple to make. Flat games take place in an entirely flat 2D space and they're kind of, they're quite collage based. You make the games by just kind of placing images in a 2D space and then the player kind of moves through that space and there's usually some kind of narrative to kind of explore by kind of moving through that space. So for Flat Jam 2017, I knew I wanted to tell a story of some kind and the story of the Craig Allen fire has always kind of stuck with me. It's one of those stories that I return to quite a lot. So I thought I'd try and tell the story of the Craig Allen fire, as I understand it at least. I might have got some of the details wrong. So apologies if you're watching the game and some of the details are wrong. Because I made the game in quite a short period of time, the story is basically written from memory. And I first learned about the Craig Allen fire when I did the West Island Way and came across the stone that commemorates it. Because I think the, the text on that stone is so evocative and like for me at least it pointed to this entire world that I had no knowledge of. So when I got home like I immediately started like researching and like trying to find out more about the Craig Allen fire and more about how it connected to all of these other things that kind of came out of that kind of moment. And still like the whole idea of the Craig Allen fire, the story of this fire that's kept lit for anyone who needs it. There's something so poignant and almost hopeful about it and the fact that it kind of led on to things like the right to roam, like it feels like it's still kind of a beacon for, I guess, the world I want to live in. And to be honest, I don't know if the game actually does that story justice, but it felt like a story that is worth retelling and sharing with new people. 